Physical therapies are commonplace in the world of human sporting endeavors. With advances in sports medicine and science, particularly in the past decade, a wider spectrum of treatment choices are available that require a high level of skill to not only human sports stars, but equine stars as well. One such therapy is the equine transceiver technique. It assesses and treats musculoskeletal injuries in equine athletes. It's not new, as it was first practiced by the highly respected Winx Green, who worked on horses from the Hall of Fame trainers Peter Canemayer, Terence Millard, and many others. Today, Beth Shaw carries the torch for Winx Green and all she accomplished, having established an academy in the Car Kloof, where students are trained in what has now become known as the equine transceiver technique. What we do with ETT is try to perfect that equine athlete so he can be the best he can be on race day that he's been bred to be, the stride he's meant to have, the gait he's meant to have, the power he's meant to have. We believe that by perfecting the movement of his muscle, he can be the horse he's bred to be. We work with the veterinarians and the farriers to improve the muscle action of the horse, to improve the function of the hindquarter, the function of the shoulders and necks, to create a perfected equine athlete, to produce power out of that hindquarter, to create a stride and a gait that is efficient and clean in action, so the leg is landing straighter. Um, for optimum performance, we really want that muscle of the hindquarter functioning as best as it can on race day. I'm an incredibly lucky girl. Um, I traveled the world to meet Winx Green out of a lot of roots. And yeah, I met Winx and trained with her for several years. She had trained with a man named Charles Strong in England who was a physiotherapist and knighted for his work with the transceiver by the Queen of England. And he passed his work on to Winx. And I then Winx passed her work on to me in 2009. And that's why I started the academy and teaching her technique and how the transceiver works. <laughs> the practitioner needs to be trained. And when the transceiver is operated by a skilled practitioner, it's very beneficial to the equine athlete. So how does it work? The muscle is moved by muscle fibers, and the muscle fiber is moved by nerve. So, and the nerve sends off an electrical impulse. The machine, the transceiver, sends off an electrical impulse to generate the nerve, to activate the muscle fibers to move correctly. So it's the same energy is applied to the muscle that the, the, the body is creating to move the muscle. That's why I think it's a very beneficial modality to improve muscle movement and function. The pulse is dynamic in that I can change the rate in which it operates and the amount of voltage I need in it and the amps I need in it. Um, it detects where the muscle is not moving correctly and we can instantly move the mobile handpiece and change the dials to create the correct movement. You learn to feel what a good muscle feels like, what Dynasty's bum felt like two days before the July. I remember to this day, and I compare every July horse from May until July, what that muscle was like and what we're trying to create. The psoas and brachy muscles are two of the core muscle groupings in an equine athlete. The psoas group is very deep-seated, so there's a lot of other modalities that cannot uh, penetrate it. But again, the transceiver does have the power to do that. The psoas group engages the hindquarter. If you engage the hindquarter, you've got power. Especially jumping out of the pens, getting that extra kick when he switches legs, um, it's, it's very important. There's many things that might lead to shoulder pain, but if the horse is malfunctioning behind, he'll overuse his front end to compensate for his hind end. Um, that, then it can put the brachyplexus under more strain. The shoulder is important, like the hind end, it's creating the power, but the, the front end's gotta get out of the way so the hind end can keep going. 
Um, so we do work quite a bit on the front of the shoulder, the brachy, um, the pectorials. Horses might have neck issues. We look at the, where the stress is, where the nerve pain is showing, and correct it so that horse can get across the line first. Beth has been working in the racing industry for the past 14 years, and her therapy has been associated with many of our country's top horses. Pomodora, um, Futura, Legislate, Horses, Jagged Ice, Dynasty, um, Big City Life was one of my favorites. Power King last year, I remember working on Futura and looking up at Power King and thinking, Whew, something magical is happening here. So they came first and fourth in the July. We've had several Gold Cup winners. For us, it's, it's about creating a happy horse, a comfortable horse, a horse that wants to win. It's a long stage to get that horse across the finish line and win the July, the Gold Cup, the big races. We're just so happy to be a part of it and help people reach their dreams. Horses go through intensive training. And you know, you've got your veterinary surgeons working. Horses jar their knees up. Horses, you know, they can have distension of their stifles and, and hocks and joints. And, uh, but a lot of them need a lot of intensive therapy, especially over their loins, you know, their hamstrings, their backs, their pecs, and things like that. And uh, she works on about 70% of my horses um, at least once a week. Uh, often you'll see a horse coming by and uh, you think he's not moving that well. We'll trot them out. It seems to be trotting out a cow on the firm. Get Beth to come have a look at him, put the machine on him. She feels spots, finds the, 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 the hot spots. And uh, I mean, I've had horses that she's turned around completely that just weren't seem to be pushing correctly from behind. So uh, she's just part of the team. She's definitely part of the team. They do a great job on my horses. Birgit come and do quite a bit of work on, you know, you know, on different horses. And she will advise me which horses will need more. And so does my vets. And um, most commonly, you know, I sort of see them in the mornings so after they've uh, they had a good workout. That's, you know, that's when it really comes in. And I can see how they trot out. And, you know, if they're shuffling a bit, get the physio in. And I promise you, I see a big difference. And, you know, we've had some nice results. Uh, she's been very helpful and astute in getting horses back to full soundness and helping me to keep them at full fitness. We use uh, ETT therapy on our horses uh, from time to time when we need it. And I think it's an integral part of uh, a training yard to have people working on your horses. Uh, physio is a huge part today. Many techniques can relieve tension and promote healing, but ETT works specifically to connect muscle function and improve movement. It therefore makes it applicable to all areas of performance, from treating acute and chronic musculoskeletal injuries to perfecting a thoroughbred stride for optimum race day performance.